In this lesson, we are going to learn how to sketch a graph from vertex form. So given vertex form as y equals a, and in parentheses, x minus h, that quantity squared plus k, we are going to identify some key components of vertex form based on a graph and the equation. So from the previous lesson where we had these graphs, of the parabolas and these equations, we are then going to hopefully determine some key features that we, that we recognize. So in looking at this value of a, for our functions, that's in front of the parentheses. So the value that's in front of, this one doesn't have parentheses there, but we'll kind of deal with that in just a moment. And so we can see that these don't have specific numerical values. So in this case that we have a, an a value of one, an a value of one here, an a value since there was a negative sign that means a negative one, and also here is a negative one. So if we notice and we think about what does this positive one do, what do these two graphs have in common, and what is different about these two graphs since there is a negative one as our a value. So hopefully you can see that between the two graphs on the left, both of those graphs open up, whereas the graphs on the right open down. And so we can say that our A value, it does have some other stretching and shrinking components to it, but for our purposes in this lesson, our A value, if it is positive, means that it is going to open up. And if our a value is negative, then that means it will open down. So then looking at our h value, so I have highlighted those then in these equations. So we have an h value of 4, an h value of 1, and an h value of 4. And we'll kind of address that positive and negative um, difference between these equations here in just a moment. And then in this equation, we do not have parentheses, so that's why there's no h value highlighted. And so then in looking at our graph, we're looking for 4. Where does that 4 come from? Where does the 1 come from in this graph? Where does the 4 come from in this graph? So one thing that we can notice here is that the 4, um, we can see that happen here for our, our, um, our x value. Um, we can also see the 1 taking place here for our 1 is where our vertex is located, so our x value of our vertex. And here, 4, well, we have a negative 4 is where our vertex is located here. So we can then conclude that the h value is our horizontal translation, so whether it moves to the right or to the left. One thing you may have also noticed is that this says x minus 4, and we can also see that it went to the positive direction on the x-axis. This says x minus 1, it went to the positive direction on the x-axis, because we can see here that this is x minus in vertex form, so the h value is really just that positive 4, and the h value here is positive 1. So what's different here is that if this is x plus 4, then what that means is that this had to have been x minus a negative 4, which is what our x value of our vertex ended up being. So that's where that minus or that plus sign, how that differs. So looking at the k value in our vertex form, so in that first equation we don't have a k value, but we can see that we have a k value here in green at positive 2, a k value in this equation at negative 2, and a k value in this equation at negative 2. So what you may then have noticed is that this k value is relating, so we said our, our h value is our x value of our vertex, but then we can also see now that our k value is our y value of our vertex. So this vertex is at the point 1, 2, which we can then see in the yellow and green highlighted. So in this situation, we have an x value of 4, that h value for our vertex, and we didn't have a k value because our, um, our y value of our vertex would be 0. 
In this situation, we had zero for our h value. We didn't have parentheses there. So that's where our vertex is at the point zero, negative two. So we can see that our k is at negative two. And on this one, we have our vertex at negative four, negative two. So that's where this negative four, that x minus negative four, that plus four comes from, and then negative two there. So we can say that the k is our vertical translation. So whether the um, graph or the parabola moves up or down. So our vertex, then we can say, is at the point h, k. So just by looking at an equation in vertex form, we can identify the vertex, hence the name vertex form. So given the little snapshot of vertex form and the equation y equals and in parentheses x minus 1 squared plus 3, we are going to identify the same pieces of information that we had previously. So the vertex, the axis of symmetry, whether it opens up or down, the horizontal translation, and the vertical translation. And then we are going to sketch a graph. So given the equation, we know that the vertex is at the point h, k. So our h value in vertex form would be 1, and our k value is 3. So our vertex is at the point 1, 3. Our axis of symmetry is always going to be our x value of our vertex because that's where the, the vertex kind of splits that parabola in half. So our axis of symmetry is at x equals 1. Recall that we are looking at our a value to tell us if the parabola opens up or down. So in this situation, this would have an a value of positive 1. So that means that our parabola would open up if our vertex is at the point 1, 3, then that means it would move to the right 1. So we're getting to the point 1, 3. We would have to go right on the x-axis. And then for our vertical translation, we would go up 3. So when we are graphing this parabola, we would start at our vertex, so at the point 1, 3. And based on our parent function, we can see some similarities here. So we already said that we are going to shift this to the right one and up three, which we have. But we can also notice a, a pattern that takes place with the other points. So one thing that you can notice is that when we go for our first set of points, that we are going to go to the left one and up one, or to the right one and up one. So I'm going to start with making a, a point to the left one and up one, and then I'm going to mirror that because remember that our vertex is our axis of symmetry. So if we go to the left one and up one, we can also go to the right one and up one. So just like our parent function, and then we can see that the next trend is going to the left one, and now we can go up three. So we are going to do the same thing here. So we are going to go to the left one and up three and make another point. We will then mirror that on the other side of the parabola. And we can also see from here that we would go to the left one and up five, but in this situation, we're not going to have enough room. So we will go ahead and sketch our parabola from there. So one thing to notice about the parent function is, so once we find our vertex, we are going to the, you know, to the left or the right one. So you're going um, left one, up one, left one, up three, left one up five. If we were to continue that odd numbered pattern, we would go to the left one up seven and so forth. So that's how we can use that pattern to then sketch our parent function. So looking at another one, if we have y equals negative and in parentheses x plus three, that quantity squared plus five, we are going to identify this information from the equation. So we can see that our vertex, so at the point h, k, so recall that in vertex form it's x minus h. So in order for that to be a plus sign, then that means that it was x minus a negative 3. So our h value in this case is negative 3, and our k value is positive 5. So our vertex is at the point negative 3, 5. Our axis of symmetry is always our x value of our vertex, so that would be at x equals negative 3. Looking at our a value of vertex form, we can see that that is a negative, so that would be equivalent to a negative 1. So that means that this parabola opens down. 
And in order for us to plot our vertex at the point negative 3, 5, that would mean that we would shift our parent function to the left 3 and up 5. So going to graph this, we would start at our vertex at the point negative 3, 5. And one thing to keep in mind before we start this odd numbered pattern is that this opens down. So instead of going to the left one and up one, we are going to go to the left one and down one and make a point. Oops, wrong direction. We are going to then mirror that on the other side. So to the right one and down one. And so remember our that odd numbered pattern. So if we're going left one, down one, we're going left one, down three. So we'll make another point mirror that on the other side. So now we've gone left one down one, left one down three, so now left one down five, mirror that on the other side. And the next um, sequence would be left one down seven, but we'll go ahead and sketch our parabola here. So let's look at another example. So y equals the quantity x plus five squared minus two. So the vertex so looking at our h value, so this would have been x minus negative 5, so the h value is negative 5, and the k value is negative 2. So for our vertex, we would have the point negative 5, negative 2. Our axis of symmetry is the x value of our vertex, so x equals negative 5. Our a value here would be positive 1, so this one opens up. The horizontal translation to get to our vertex would mean that we would move to the left 5 and down 2. So in order to sketch this, we would start at our vertex at the point negative 5, negative 2. Since this parabola opens up, we are going to use that odd numbered pattern and go upward. So we would go to the left 1, up 1, and mirror that and go to the right 1, up 1. The left 1, up 3, and mirror that on the other side and to the left one up five, and mirror on the other side, and then sketch the parabola. Last one. So given the equation y equals negative, and in parentheses x minus two, that quantity squared minus six. So we can see our vertex, our h value is two, and our k value is negative six, so we have a vertex of two, negative six. Our axis of symmetry is at x equals two, our a value in this function is negative, so that means that this parabola opens down. The horizontal translation to get to the vertex is to the right 2 and then down 6. So starting at the point 2, negative 6, keep in mind that our parabola opens down. So we are going to, from this point, go to the left one, down one, and mirror that point on the other side. And then we will go to the left one down three and mirror that on the other side. So now we have sketched that parabola. In this lesson, we have learned how to sketch a graph of a quadratic function.